flying to Pebbly Reef, where everyone should just be waking up in Two Points' very own paradise. No, oh, no. I'm being told that the entire county has the same time zone. All right then. Good afternoon, Pebbly Reef. <laughs> ah, moving on. I hear that Roderick Cushing guy is filming a new medical drama at Plywood Studios. Just what we need, another show about a handsome doctor. If anyone from Plywood Productions is listening, I'm, I'm still waiting to hear back about my show. I don't want to spoil it for you, but let's just say it's about a professional bowler that solves interdimensional mysteries. Actually, that's, that's pretty much it. You gotta respect the cavemen, man. They didn't need all our modern conveniences. No carpets, no shoe racks, no two-for-one train tickets. Just hanging in a cave with your friendly dinosaur buddy. Now that's the life.
There's nothing like a burp. And now, burp soda comes in three new flavors with 23% more fizz. Open your mouth and have a burp. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. Maintenance announcement. Bins will become full.
left. Plants need water.
Has anyone actually read the ingredients list for Brandy Brittle? It just says salt, 84%. Other ingredients, 16%. Thinking of sending some samples to the lab to find out what those are. You don't need a lab to know what's coming up next. More great tunes. Thank you. 
listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. It's time to turn your radio throne upside down. That's right, Ricky Hawthorne's here to chase away the clouds. First, a lively little song to kick things off. Oh, <laughs> 
remember everyone, it's quiz night at the Oily Cormorant down in Hogsport. I'll be there with my team getting every question wrong and having a jolly good time of it. Fun day out for all the family. I guess. Come to Grockle Bay Zoo. And see stunt monkeys. Uh. Whale pigs. Whoa. And Venusian tigers. What? Grockle Bay Zoo. Almost no visitor fatalities for two and a half weeks. 24 hours a day. This is two, two, two Point Radio.
now for some news. Lecturers at the local teaching hospital have gone on strike after all the books in its medical library were sold at auction. Let's hope our future doctors have already learned everything they need to know.
listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. In today's Gossip Roundup, Mrs. Eggshock is still wearing that leg cast we all know is a fake. The squatters in number 19 Mud Street have put up new curtains and a new species of venomous spider is poised to infest our homes this summer. More gossip next time. Daily Sneer revealed the shockingly low wages Jumbo pays most of its employees. The company has launched an internal investigation into the matter. It says it hopes it'll soon be able to pay no wages at all, which is one way of dealing with the problem, I suppose. Training course completed.
The world-renowned Cirque du Parfait is no longer under investigation. So come experience the magic, wonder and terror of our glass-boned acrobats ah, ah. and face-eating clowns. <laughs> it's a parfait day at the circus for everyone. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio.
other DJs. Some of them on this very station, believe it or not, can be, well, a tad grumpy, to be perfectly blunt. I'm not naming any names, mind you. <coughs> Nigel! Anyway, I've filled the booth with kitten pictures. So hopefully we'll have nothing but happiness on the airways from now on.
ages has taken our nice words of the day idea a little bit too literally, I believe. His suggestions were sponge, curvature, and plonk. Well, those are very nice words, John, so I'll let that stand.
Radio. This is Two Point Radio, and I am Nigel Bickleworth at your service. And so we begin another of our shows with a little something I like to call music. space in all this county than the meltdowns. Nothing but a toxic wasteland. Why, when I was a lad, it was merely a wasteland. <laughs> That's progress for you. Maintenance announcement. Automated snap machines need restocking manually.
collect, trade and snack with Morsel Man. Awesome. Who will you find? Little Susie Salt. <laughs> Bacon Dad. Whoa. The Reverend Cheddar. Can I get an amen? Amen. Morsel Man. A handful of flavour. A mouthful of fun. More Two Point. More often. This is Two Point Radio. In today's guide to good manners, we shall discuss the making of telephone calls, particularly ones made to radio stations. Firstly, do not shout. Speak in a calm, clear voice, preferably in a voice you would deem too posh for everyday conversation. State your name and be polite at all times. Also, do not call me names and then quickly hang up. That is the height of rudeness.
I'm sure you will agree that was an extraordinary piece of music. A wonderful example of non-diatonic counterpoint. Stay tuned for more groundbreaking compositions. (laughs) 